So this video will focus on Jack versus Jill's uh, burger and bar battle. So we're going to start off with Jill. So for Jill, here's the information we're going to look at. For Jill, in one hour, in one hour, Jill can make, Jill can make uh, 30 burgers or 30 bars. So, Jill's opportunity cost, Jill's OC of making one burger, one burger is one bar. Because opportunity cost is what you give up over what you get, and the ratio is the same, so it's one to one. So, Jill's opportunity cost of making one bar making one bar is of course the opportunity cost of making one bar is of course one burger so Jill's customers Jill's customers buy in equal orders buy in equal numbers what I mean by that is they buy, they'll, all, they'll always buy one burger and one bar in equal order. So they buy in equal order, equal numbers. So she produces, so Jill, she produces, produces, oh, I can't write the U, but yeah, that's produces 15 burgers and 15 bars and that would be Jill's information and she produces 15 burgers and bars in an hour so yep now that's Jill's information now let's take a look at Jack let's take a look at good old Jack so in an hour in one hour Jack can produce can make uh, six burgers or 30 bars so Jack's opportunity cost Jack's opportunity cost of making one burger is five bars because there's a one to five ratio here to make one burger it will cost Jack five bars but Jack's opportunity cost Jack's opportunity cost of making of making uh, of making one bar is uh, one fifth of a burger because remember this is what uh, for the opportunity cost it's what we give up over what we get what we're giving up is we're giving up uh, for one bar what we're giving up is six burgers and to do and we're gonna get 30 bars in that hour so when we get 6 over 30 when we get 6 over 30 we can pretty much reduce this to 1 over 5 so that's why how I got the 1 over 5 of burger the, it's all, the 1 over 5 of a burger is also the inverse of 5 bars and I've talked about the inverse in one of my past videos and that's way past but yeah that's the inverse of this one one over five of a burger is the inverse of these five bars and so Jack spends 10 minutes 10 minutes making uh, making burgers and 
and 50 minutes, 15 minutes, making, um, uh, 10 minutes, no, this, he's not making burgers here, he's making bars, and 15 minutes making, uh, burgers, 15 make, minutes make burgers, and he produces, he produces, five burgers, five burgers, and five bars. Now let's see if I did the math right. So to make one bar, it takes him two minutes. So in 10 minutes, we'll make five bars. And to make one burger, it takes 10 minutes. So 15 minutes would make five burgers. Okay, I got the math right. I was just worried up there for a little bit. And yeah, let's end it here for for today. And in the next video, we'll talk more about this example. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.